This is a tutorial for logical decisions, the first one in a series. We're going to use a light bulb example, and the focus in this case will be to create and organize an objectives hierarchy. Logical decisions uses the word goal instead of objectives. We will also define measures, place them under the appropriate goal, and we will deal with two types of variables. One will be continuous, and the other one will be categorical, which logical decisions call label. The example we're going to use involves 20 spotlight bulbs for kitchen, and there are three bulb types, halogen, incandescent, and fluorescent. We have two goals. We want to minimize cost and maximize quality. The measures are the annual operating costs for these 20 bulbs, the purchase cost, the amount of light they generate measured in lumens, and the type of bulb. And in logical decisions, when you set up the individual measures, you have to specify the range of values that it could take for all three types of bulbs in our case study. The operating cost ranges from a high of 300, which is least preferred, to a low of $50. The most preferred. The purchase cost ranges from a high of $75 to a low of $25. The amount in lumens ranges from a low of $900 to a high of $1,100. And the type, the least preferred is fluorescent, the most preferred is halogen, and incandescent is somewhere in the middle. When you specify least and most preferred, you need to be very careful to make sure you have them in the right direction. With regard to costs, smaller is better. With regard to light, more light is better. In order to create a goals hierarchy, you need to input these specific goals. Two ways you can do it, edit and then add a goal, or edit and then insert a goal. And the insert goal is, is a little simpler, but we'll show you both methods. When you open up logical decisions, this is the default picture you will see. You'll have one goal, and the default name is overall, and you'll have one measure, and that default name will be new measure. Now you select edit to introduce a new goal. The drop-down menu for edit has a button called add. That's what we're going to click to introduce a new goal. The menu that you will see will be add an object, and you are going to select a goal radio button, and afterwards you're going to click OK. Next, the goal properties window opens, and this is what you'd see. You see a default name called new goal, and on the top you'll see two buttons, name and position. We're going to edit and replace new goal with minimize cost. As a result, the goals hierarchy changes. You see a new box called Minimize Cost, which is a goal, and it's attached to overall goal. Next, we're going to add another goal, and that's Maximize Quality, but this time we're going to use the Insert Menu item rather than the Add Menu item. As you can see, the menu that now pops up is much smaller than the one that we saw when we used the Add command, and now, in this case, you just need to select the Goal Radio button and hit OK. Once again, you need to edit the name and insert Maximize Quality. After adding this extra goal, this is what the new diagram looks like. Maximize Quality and Minimize Cost are the two goals. Now we're going to work on the measures. We will be adding the measure Purchase Cost under Minimize Cost. But since there is a default already, we can simply edit the measure labeled New Measure and correct it or change it. Later, we will also show you how to use the Insert command. So the steps involve naming the measure, making sure it's placed under the appropriate goal, and specifying the most and least preferred values. To edit and add information to the measure labeled New Measure, we simply double-click on it. The menu we next see is the Measure Properties menu, and in this case, we've already edited its name and typed in the word Purchase. We then need to select the Scale tab in order to input data about the ranges and also the units of measurement. For the purchase cost measure, we added three things. We insert dollars into units. The most preferred level is $25, and the least preferred level is $75. We want to place the purchase measure under the minimize cost goal, so we need to select the name tab. We'd see the name purchase, and we'll notice that the goal above it is overall. That's not where we want to place it, so we click the open button. We will see under the list maximize quality, minimize cost, and overall. We want to place it under minimize cost, so we need to select that and hit OK. Whenever you attempt to move a measure or a goal, you'll always see a box that asks you OK to move purchase to min cost goal, and you click here yes. Notice the new measure has been renamed as purchase, and we've placed the purchase measure under minimize cost. Next, we want to add an operating cost measure, and we want to insert it under minimize cost. So we're going to double click on that goal. Now we're going to click on the edit, and then we're going to select the insert menu option. 
Insert measure screen appears. You select a measure and click OK. The measure property screen shows up, and the first thing you want to do is rename the measure. This measure's name is operating. Now we double click on the scale tab so that we can input the range of values least and most preferred values. After the measure property screen appears, we make sure the units are dollars. The most preferred level is $50, and the least preferred level is $300. After hitting OK, this is what the goals hierarchy will look like with operating and purchase under minimized cost. Now we want to add measures to maximize quality. Since we want to insert them directly under maximize quality, we double click on maximize quality, and then we select the edit menu item. We again select the insert menu item. We make sure the A measure button is selected, and we click OK. This measure is named amount, and we type it in next to name. We then select the scale tab to insert the ranges. After selecting the scale tab, the measure properties screen shows up, and this is what it would look like after we've edited the units. Lumens, the most preferred level is 1100 lumens, the least preferred level is 900 lumens. We now discuss adding a label measure. It is somewhat different in that its range is not a set of values. What we'll do is we'll show you name the measure, in this case it's type, place it on the appropriate goal, specify label by clicking on the label box, and we have to replace some default words. We begin working with this goals hierarchy. We double click on maximize quality because that's where we're going to insert the measure type. We then select the edit menu item. We again select the insert menu item. We make sure that a measure is selected and again hit OK. We then rename this measure type and type. Up until this point, there's no difference between this measure and any other measure we've input. Since type is a labels measure, we select the labels tab. When you see the measure properties screen, you need to select the use labels checkbox. It will ask you to confirm that you really want to use labels for this new measure. Once you have clicked Use Labels, automatically it specifies the default for labels, three values, high, medium, and low. You can have any number of values, but we need to replace the words high, medium, low with our most preferred, middle preferred, and least preferred. We replace the word high by typing over it, typing the word halogen as our most preferred. We replace the word medium with the word incandescent, but we use an abbreviated form because that's what's going to show on many of the graphs and charts that we create. We replace the word low with fluorescent, but again we use an abbreviated version because the name is too long and would affect how the charts would appear. I wanted to use this opportunity to show you what the screen looks like when you select the scale tab for a label measure. Notice on this screen, all you see under units is labels. You can change it to any word you want, like constructed. But there's nothing in the most preferred level, and there's nothing in the least preferred level, because there are no numeric values. After inputting the type measure, this is what the goals hierarchy looks like. The overall goal says overall, and we want to rename that to best lighting, so we double click on overall. Double clicking on overall opens the goal properties window and we're going to rename the goal. We simply replace the word overall with the phrase best lighting and hit OK. This ends the first tutorial of creating a goals hierarchy. The next tutorial will focus on inputting the data for each of the three alternatives and that data will be input into a matrix.